What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, King Jordan, back with another banger. Yes, I pop, we here. Hey, look, if you are next gen, and I'm for the first time, I'm giving you position to, permission to skip the video. You can skip over to the next gen, okay? Because this video has current and next gen builds and badges into this, all right? Now, if you are current gen, you're gonna wanna stay right here, all right? And if you are both, you're gonna wanna, wanna watch the whole thing, all right? All I ask for you to do is like the video up. If you're not liking, you're lazy. I'm just being honest with you. We're not sure code no more. Like, you're here. All you gotta do is click under the button. If you're on your TV, all you gotta go to is the three dots, okay? So I'm gonna give you five seconds to like the video up. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Your like does matter, and that's gonna help us get out there and blow up. Maybe you don't wanna see that. I don't know. Maybe it's a personal issue. But let's get into this banger, all right? So. We're going to go center, all right? I know a lot of people like to go power forward, but we're going to go center because this build right here, all right, is going to help you rep up faster. And what I mean by that is, you'll be able to take this build to the rep, okay? With the teammate or without the teammate, all right? Because I always talk about, I hit level 40 on current gen and next gen. And yes, I have Hungry to play with, and I have a couple other people that I play with too, like Begins, and a couple other um, people that I run with. But a lot of my time was in the wreck. I spent a lot of time in the wreck. And I built this center build to go to the wreck to get level ups, okay? So I'm telling you, if you don't have nobody to play with, this build right here can help you rep up without the teammate or with the teammate no more excuses no more all right so we're gonna go center we're gonna go right here we're gonna go number 34 okay now check this out right um the reason i know i'm gonna try to make him close to shack but we're gonna try to put shack on steroids a little bit okay all right and this build is made to help you out but it resembles shack all right so we're going to go with this pie chart right here you're going to get the 90 close shot the 91 standing dunk and these stats going to change and then you got the um defense for the 87 90 89 89 now i'm gonna tell you this i see a lot of centers they make they they build where they have all offense but hardly no defense and they wonder why, why am I getting killed by other centers that have defense or why am I shot getting blocked or why I can't dunk. This is the reason why, because you're playing against centers like this. This is a comp build. You can play with this build in part. You can set picks. You can come off the screen. You can catch a lot. You can do it every, anything you want to do, you can do with this build, all right? So we're going to go right here. Go go with this pie chart. We're going to go with the 63 speed, 59 acceleration, 90 strength, and the 52 vertical. The reason why we're going with this pie chart, because you want to have a high strength okay there's a lot of centers that don't have a high strength you want to have a high strength because you want to muscle down anybody that comes your way you want even if you got another center to have this build okay you're going to be able to still be dominant because nine times out of ten a lot of people are not going to pick their physicals like this all right okay all right the first step we're going to go to we're going to go with a 90 close shot so this guy will be able to finish good at the rim all right and then with the driving layup, we're going to go 64. Driving dunk, we're going to go 67. Okay. Um, standing dunk, we're going to go 91. And then post hook, you're going to go 80. All right. Now, you know, when you hit 99, you get a plus four to all these stats. So all these stats is going to change too as well. All right. Now, for mid-range, for shooting, this is really not a shooting big. Okay. But for shooting, you want to go with a free throw of 70. Because when you take this build to the wreck, and like I said, this build is perfect for helping you wrap up to level 40. You can go with this build with a level 60 and still be able to dominate in the wreck. And, and I talked about that before because all these builds have thresholds. If you have a 90 strength, and let's say your strength is not a 90 yet, you still get some um, animations as if you had a 90 overall, okay? A 90 strength overall. 
It's all about animations in this game. It's all about thresholds. If you meet the threshold requirement and your build does have that, but it doesn't have the stat yet, it's still gonna give you um, some thresholds, okay? All right, so you're gonna go with a 70 free throw, okay? For passing, you're gonna go 55. Because for the simple fact is, when you're in the rack, okay? And you get that rebound, and let's say you by yourself, you can chuck down passes all the way from the court. You can Tom Brady that thing all the way from the court. All you need is a threshold of 55 passing. You will be fine, okay? And you get a lot of rep for that. You can control the floor of where the ball goes and you don't have to worry about teammates selling you, okay? So go 55. And then for the ball control, you're gonna go 39. The reason why, and people are like, well, why do you need a 39 ball control? Well, let's say you bagging down somebody and they're, you don't have a ball control. They're, it's easier to rip you. This game is thresholds. So if you got 39 ball control, unpluckable on bronze, you'll be able to do whatever you want to that person and it'd be harder for them to rip you because you don't have a zero ball control. So you wanna have a 39 and then you get a plus four to that. So that's gonna help out too, all right? Um, and then for interior defense, you wanna have an 87. You want to have a 56 because um, perimeter defense, because you want to be able to, you got to come out to the, the three. You want to be able to somehow cut off people and stay in front of them. That's either going to go to a 60. So you get a plus four to that too. You get a plus four to all these stats. Lateral quickness, you want that to be up because you want to be able to be, you know, movable on the floor. You don't want to be able to not move on the floor and not slide if you got to help your point guard or help somebody out in the wreck, all right? And then with the steals, okay, you want to have a 44 steal block. You're going to have, let me see, you're going to have a 90 block and then the rest of these, are going to go into defense. So you'll have an 89 defense, um, offense um, rebound. You're gonna have an um, 89 defensive rebound. And all these stats gonna change, okay? So you wanna go right here. You wanna go build. Now you could go burly. You could be a problem. You could go define. But I say built is a good representation of um, just not, you know, being bullied or, or being blown by. I noticed when you have like a, a skinny frail, you know frame then people easier it's easier for people to blow by you so you don't have to worry about that i say built is the way to go okay you want to go seven foot with this guy okay now i know i said this build with shack and different things like that you this i always give you options you can go seven one seven two even seven three but the more you go um, the more you go up, yeah, it gives you some bonus to your standing dunk, but it's not a huge bonus. Now, if you go 6'9", 6'11", um, you know, you go 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 to other stats that gives you bigger stats. But I feel like when you're 6'9", um, you don't get as much rebounds as a 7-footer would that's going to be in a wreck, okay? Because normally in this position, someone 7-foot or 7'3", is going to be in that position to get that rebound. If I was you, I would recommend 7'3", but I know how some people are. 7'3 um, is a really good height. Yeah, you're going to be slow, but this build is all about helping you wrap up. The more rebounds you grab, the more control you have in the post, the more blocks you have, the more bigger boost of rep you're going to get for your level 40, okay? But we'll go 70. I made this build to go 70, so we'll go 70, all right? Now, for, um, for weight, we're going to go 250, okay? The reason why we're going to go 250, now I could go all the way to the max, put his um, strength at 95, but like I said before, you get a plus four and plus um, you get the um, Gatorade boost too as well. That's going to put you past a 94 or 95. Um, strength and plus speed too as well because you want to be able to move a little bit on the floor all right so we're going to go 250 and then we're going to go with um the max wingspan okay so this is going to put your standing dunk at a 95 your driving dunk at a 70 okay and normally when you're in this position a 70 driving dunk is really good with this build when you're in this position you're not going to be driving dunking you're going to be having your back to the basket and just yamming on people okay you even get a post hook with this guy at 81 
Now you got to think about all these stats are going to get a plus four, okay? All these stats are going to get a plus four. Your interior defense score up, your block is a 95, your offense rebounds a 92, um, defense rebounds a 92, and you get that plus four, okay? So, and then your strength does go down a little bit, five points, but like I said, you get a plus four to that and you get Gatorade boost. That's going to put you in a 90 range. That's all you need because your badges is going to take care of the rest, all right? So, we're going to go with this build and we're going to go with the rim protecting. Now, I know some people say, well, why rim protecting? Why not go with glass cleaning? Well, to be honest with you, when you are big like this and you got rebounding um, badges, you don't need glass cleaning. Like, it's overpowered, to be honest with you. I would want rim protector because if I'm on fire, I get a plus 10 to all my stats. So, so that's a plus. I get a bonus to all my stats, okay? So that means I get a bonus to interior, perimeter, um, lateral quickness, rebounding, steals, blocks. It's worth it. More than just getting this and just being able to rebound and seeing the rebound on the floor. To me, you should be um, skilled enough where you have enough badges where you can box off the person, get around them, and grab the rebound. And this is the build that you made right here. A glass cleaning lockdown. Now this build, like I said, is gonna help you wrap up so fast because you don't need, this build is a ISO type of build. Like you don't need anybody to, you know, be around you or to make this build dominant. This build can be dominant by itself. You can go to rec and get a lot of rep points, okay? Just from this build, all right? So if I was you and if you that person, nine times out of 10, a lot of people that come to these videos really don't have people to run with. Create this build. You can build this build from the ground up. You can be a level 60, get into the wreck. You don't have to worry about people running because it's matchmaking, okay? And use your coins and level this build up slowly. Get your badges and you'll be able to get everything. When this build is at a 99, this build will be crazy okay this is the shack build um the shack like build that is going to resemble shack he's very shack was very dominant in the paint this build is very very dominant in the paint okay all right let's go on to the next bit build all right y'all now for the next build i'm not gonna lie to you this build will probably be one of my favorites because this is like my style kind of of how to play um but this build right here is really really good and this build would be a nightmare to centers that can't move or can't shoot let's say if you have a guard that is an iso player this guy can spot up sit in the corner okay and hit all day all right this guy right here this will be a nightmare for anybody you can set a pick roll to the three and you'll be able to shoot it's the most irritating thing i'm telling you this build right here is crazy all right so look we're gonna go with power forward okay because we want a little speed all right we're going to go right hand it doesn't matter what number you want to go we're just going to keep it on 34 but it doesn't matter okay all right we're going to go with this pie chart right here the 86 um, mid-range 85 3 92 free throw 95 fade um, and then all these stats is going to change you're going to see all these stats are going to change all right now you know here i always give you freedom so you can always dictate these stats of how you want to be but i always try to go with the most compass stats that you can get all right so we're going to go with this all right we're going to go with the speed 65 speed 62 acceleration 50 strength 55 vertical okay we're going to go with this because speed kills in this game all right now this build is more for if you got a partner that can iso or if you're setting picks whatever this build can um, be able to do it all right so we're going to go right here okay um we're going to go close shot 74 we're going to go driving layup 62 we're going to go driving dunk 58 we're going to go standing dunk um 65 we're gonna go post hook okay um 70 all right and we're going to go with the mid range 86 we're going to go with the 385 free throw we're going to go 70 okay because you only need a 70 free throw to shoot free throws and rack and if you don't want a free throw you can put that in somewhere else so um it just depends on where you want to do all right post fade we're going to go 70 okay um and then we're going to go with 
um, a 55, okay, with passer accuracy. We're going to go with a um, 58. Well, no. You know what? Let's go. Let's take this to 50. We'll go 50 with ball handling because for the simple fact is you do get a plus four to your stats when you hit 99, okay? You can buy boosts as well. So you could probably be close to a 60 ball control, but you only need a 55 pass and accuracy because if you want to throw down the floor, it's easy to throw down the floor. You don't need a crazy pass and accuracy. 55 is the threshold to be able to successfully throw um, passes down the floor, okay? Um, and then you want to go with um, a 67 interior defense, perimeter defense, you want to go 60, okay? Lateral quickness, 60, okay? Defense rebound, 76. Offense rebound, 59. And then block, you want to go 71. And the reason why I put in block, I'd rather have a high block than a stale, to be honest with you. I'd rather be able to defend than to steal the ball. But if you want to go the opposite way, you can. But it's going to give you one bash point less, as you see. Now, if I go right here, it'll give me seven defense. So you got three finishing, 21 shooting, one playmaking, and seven defense, okay? This build is going to be able to draw people out from the, the paint. Have your point guard or whoever ice on be able to attack the rim while you're sitting there blazing them with shots like crazy, all right? And this is a good build because, you know, you can be able to do multiple things, all right? Now, you're going to see all these stats is going to change, all right? Now, you can go defined. You can go burly. You can go built. I wouldn't recommend slight because slight, it seems like people get blow buys by you. Maybe compact. Um, let's try compact. We'll go with compact. Or you can go with solid or defined. But we'll go with compact, okay? Because maybe you might be that guy that don't want to look crazy, bulky like a bodybuilder, all right? So we're going to go 6'9", okay? You could go 6'10", okay? You could go 6'11". You could go 7 foot. But as you go up, you slow down, okay? So we're going to go 6'9". 6'9 is a, uh, is a good height for um, a center. Most of your guys that you're going to guard is going to be 6'9". Um, in this game, um, or maybe six eight. It just depends. Most of the people you're gonna guard, you're gonna be a, it's, it's gonna be six nine for center. Um, it's very rare that you see people out here that's seven foot or seven three. Okay, we're gonna go six nine. Okay, and for the um, weight, we're gonna go two fifty seven. Okay. And the reason why I say 257 is because you get a 62 speed, you get a 59 acceleration. Now you get a plus four to all them stats. Now once you hit 99, you're going to get another plus four, okay? So you're going to have a good, decent strength. You're going to have a, a nice speed, a nice acceleration, a nice vertical. This build will be able to move, okay? All right, and then for the wingspan, we're gonna go max wingspan, okay? Max wingspan is gonna give you bonuses to your finishing, your standing dunk, your layup. You can lay the ball up with a 60. You can lay the ball up with a close shot. You can dunk with a 60 or higher, okay? And now what's so crazy is, and that's what I love about this game, this game gives you versatility. I have a playmaking shot creator, and my playmaking shot creator have a 60 dunk, and he's able to dunk. And when he got a plus four, he's able, he's booming like he's a slasher. So you'll be able to have slashing ability badges. You'll be able to have um, shooting. You'll be able to have defense. You'll be able to um, handle the ball just a little bit, and you'll be able to pass the ball too, okay? All right, now normally people would go with a, sh a spot shot up, um, I mean with a um, shot creator um, takeover, but since your defense abilities are a little bit on the threshold end, I would go rim protector because you get a plus 10 to all them stats. When you get a plus 10 to all them stats, you'll be able to do what you need to do. You'll be a higher, you'll be a higher tier of defense. You would get other thresholds, and it's just it's just more worth it. So I would definitely go with uh, rim protector because you already have over 80 shot, and it's very easily to shoot in this game. And when you hit 99, you're gonna have more and plus boost. So I would say rim protector. Okay, do not go with glass. Cleaning because glass cleaning is cool to see the shot on the floor, but 
um, rim protector give you the, the bigger bonuses to, to do whatever you want to do on the floor. You'll be a nightmare on the floor. You'll be able to shoot, be able to do what you want to do. All right. And this is the build that we made, a stretch four, okay? This build right here will be a nightmare to people that are a good, that has a good teammate to be able to ISO, okay? Be able to um, create space on the floor. You'll be able to be versatile. You can play with a lot of big YouTubers with this build. I would play with you with this build. <laughs> I would play with you with this build. So definitely this is a good build to do. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think. Please like up the video. That's all I ask. Like up the video, man, because we're going crazy. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is the badge section on current gen, okay? The best badges to use now. Um, I recommend these badges first of what I would tell you to put on. I know some don't have 26 um, defensive badges um, to go by, so I would tell you the category of what I would recommend on the threshold. I was explaining this in my badge video, okay? Now, if you have not checked out the badge video, go check out this badge video up here. This is gonna help you. This is gonna explain thresholds, okay? If you got a certain threshold, you don't need badges on Hall of Fame, okay? Or even gold. Silver and bronze badges are very, very powerful in this game, and you can be able to spread, you know, a good spreadsheet of badges. If you look at that video, you will see what I'm doing on defense-wise. I'm not having gold and Hall of Fame badges, okay? And you can look at my live streams. You can look at a lot of things and tell, like, man, this guy is crazy, all right? So look, all right, the first thing we're going to I recommend as a um, as a um, center, okay, is Intimidator on Silver or Bronze, all right? Okay, Intimidator is going to help you stop people in the paint, okay? Silver or Bronze is good. Gold is really, really good, okay? But if you don't have a lot of badges, some people can't spread their sheet like that. So I'm going to show you badges as if I didn't have 26 badges, okay? But that's the first badge I recommend, all right? The second badge I recommend for um, being a center is post lockdown. Post lockdown, silver or bronze is great, okay? Gold Hall of Fame is amazing too. But I recommend the silver because you have you have the threshold to be able to get the animations, okay, to be able to defend. All right. Now that's what I'm telling you. After the video, go look at my defensive badges because I explain my defensive badge video because I explain everything of why I will go this route. Um, rock and silver badges, okay. Um, and then the third badge I recommend is chase down, chase down silver or bronze is really, really good, okay. Chase down on gold or hall of fame is good too, all right. Um, I recommend it though on maybe silver and bronze because, yeah, gold is good, you get more animations, um, but at the same time. It's very rare for you to get them animations at gold. Silver really works well. Silver, bam, on the drop of a dime, you're getting that if you're in the right position, okay? So I recommend that on silver. Um, another badge I recommend, okay, um, is Hustler, bronze or silver. Hustler is amazing, okay? Gold is amazing too, but silver is you get consistent animations to go get the ball. Gold you know you it, it kicks in when it wants to okay but if you can put it on gold that's cool but i recommend it on silver or bronze silver is definitely um a goal because you get a lot you get a lot of um you get a lot of rebounds also too it helps you with um you know diving for the ball going for the, any loose ball any ball that goes up you're going to get it all right so i recommend that on silver or bronze okay the next badge i recommend is pogo stick pogo stick on silver or bronze is great gold is good but at the same time the same rule gold does not give you consistent animations it does it when it want to do it okay silver gives you consistent animations if you're in the right spot you do the right timing you're going to get that animation all right uh, the next badge i recommend is worm okay worm on silver or bronze is amazing okay now if you have worm on gold that's cool too but silver you're going to get that consistency in that all right 
Um, another badge I recommend is Tyler, Tyler's Defender. Tyler's Defender on silver or bronze is real good. Gold is good too, but like I said, you know, you want to be able to use your spreadsheet and be a menace on the floor, all right? Tyler's Defender helps you where you can be able to get rebounds, be able to defend, be able to do things with your fatigue low, okay? Anytime your fatigue low, Tyler's Defender is gonna kick in. Tyler's Defender can be a menace. <laughs> you can be a menace for real, okay? Um, the next badge I recommend is Rim Protector. Rim Protector, bronze or silver is really, really good, okay? Gold, you already know what I'm saying. It does not give you the consistency. Yes, you might get snatch blocks, but you're not gonna get snatch blocks every single time you go for the ball. It does it when it wants to do it. So silver or bronze give you that consistency, okay? Rebound chaser, okay? Bronze or silver is amazing, all right? Um, the same rule applies for the rest of them, okay? Rebound chaser helps you be able to get the board, you know, give you animations to take maybe snatch it out of their hand different things like that really really works okay another badge i recommend is clamps clamps on silver okay or bronze is amazing same rule for the other badges too you can put it on gold but you don't get consistency the consistency is silver okay silver is really really good another badge i recommend is box out on silver box out on silver is really 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 amazing okay um because you can be able to box out and get the boards and different things like that all right another badge i recommend is brick wall now this is a trick right here the higher you have this badge brick wall just does not work just on picks anytime that defender or person bump onto you you're draining energy from them okay that badge right there i would say gold because i notice it works really good it works good on silver too and bronze I, I i don't recommend that on bronze i recommend it on silver or gold okay but we'll put it on silver but anytime a defender or anybody bump onto you you're draining them okay that's a good badge to have all right and the last badge too is up to you all right you can put ball stripper on that's good you can put that on silver where you can strip the ball from down low or you can put it on off pass so if you have to chase you know around you know annoying point guards you could be able to do that or you could put pick dodger on but you know i i don't i wouldn't recommend that because at the same time you know you're going to be in the center position um, you know, it, it's really, you know, it's up to you or just how you play, you know, pickpocket is good too. interceptor is good. Or if you want to be a menace, you can put menace on. But the reason why I didn't recommend menace for a center, because most of the time you're going to be playing in the paint down low. Now, if you're playing with someone like two guards, maybe that'll work or ankle bracer, ankle bracer really doesn't is effective this year you know i you know ankle breakers are not crazy this year so ankle bracer is really not worth it to be honest with you but you know i would say probably menace or maybe interceptor or off pass um or off ball pass for that so these are the badges that i recommend for current gen hopefully this helped you out we're going to go over to next gen i'm going to explain the bills over there and do the same thing for this on um um on um, next gen as well appreciate my current gen people here if you're still here please push the like button and if you're going to come over to next gen because you want to know what the next belt bills and badges will be on next gen come over to next gen and we get ready to go let's go all right y'all what's good y'all this is the next gen build that i'm doing for this series right here this is the shot build this build is going to be crazy now but now for granted i always make pills on steroids okay so you know this is going to be a resemblance of shack but it's going to be able to be comp stage type of attributes to help you uh be advanced to help you thrive okay now again this build right here is going to help you wrap up okay this build right here is going to help you be able to wrap up without a partner or with a partner you can play this build in rack you can do a lot of things with this build okay you can play this build at park and you can do a lot of things with this build okay so um i i 
thank everybody for being here, man. Just ask you just to like up the video. If you're not liking, you're being lazy. You already know. We gonna call the things out, all right? So let's get into the video, okay? We're gonna go with center. We're gonna go right-handed. Um, it doesn't matter if you wanna go right hand or left hand. We're gonna go number 34, okay? All right, now, we're going to go with the height um, breakdown of 70, weight 250, wingspan 70, and built um, body shape. And this is going to give you the attributes of what you're going to be. You're going to be able to get a 90 strength. You're going to be a little fast, okay? You're going to be able to um, be able to, you know, um, finish at the rim, post hook, do everything underneath the rim that you want to do to these guys. And you don't need a teammate. If you don't have nobody to play with, you can go to the wreck and wreck up with this guy so fast fast and get level 40 okay so you're gonna be able to do everything you'll be able to pass the ball you'll be able to do a lot of things that a lot of centers can't do okay and this is what i love about next gen you can get in this build system and make and tweak and make different things that's crazy okay but still you know you still has a balance to it all right so seven foot 250 seven wing sprint and built body shape okay all right and these are the stats that we're going to go. We're going to have a 99 close shot, a 77 driving layup, a, a 73 driving dunk, a 99 standing dunk, a 99 post control. We're going to have a 49 mid range, okay? We're going to have a free throw, a 77. That's all you need to be able to shoot a free throw, okay? You do not need a 90 free throw, 80 free throw. You can shoot a free throw at 70 or lower, okay? Um, and then we're going to have a 90 interior defense all right um we're gonna have a skip playmate <laughs> we have 80 um pass accuracy okay a 58 ball control a 44 ball speed now the reason why you want to have some type of playmaking ability in your center because when people go for a reach this thing is thresholds if you have a zero playmaking then they're going to be well it's going to be easy for them to steal the ball from you now you can have now you got ball stripper on and ball um unstripper is pretty good i think i'm saying that right but um unstrippable ball unstrippable is pretty good but i recommend you to have some type of playmaking so you can be able to protect the ball and if you got to move you can move a little just a little bit all right now interior defense 90 perimeter defense you want to have at 55 okay um because you never know you might have to go and guard one of the guards that's on the perimeter so you want to have a little bit where you can be able to do something all right um steals at 70 you know steals are really really overpowered but this build can have a threshold of 70 still okay um block at a 90 offense rebound 90 defense rebound 90 okay and um let me see speed um you get a 62 acceleration you get a 58 you get a 91 strength okay and i recommend strength on here because you're going to be able to do some things on here that people ain't going to be able to suck you're going to be a nightmare you could probably go to comp stage and play with this build because this build is going to be a nightmare okay um vertical 76 he's able to jump you're going, you're going to get a lot of chase down blocks with this guy and um you got a 96 um stamina i recommend you to put your stamina as high as you can because stamina really matters in this game uh, but i recommend you put it high as you can all right and then we're going to go with these takeovers okay power back downs okay back downs because you want to be able to you want to be able to muscle your guy to the rim and then we want with post play making takeover now you can go with rim protector you can switch these takeovers but i recommend post play making takeover because let's say if you get the rebound you can pass it to your teammate you get a bonus you give them a bonus to be able to shoot or do whatever off of you grabbing the board and passing out so i recommend that okay all right and this is what we created right here. We created a paint beast, okay? And the first comparison is Shaq over Shaquille O'Neal, okay? And this build is gonna be able to do everything in a wreck. You do not need a team member with this build. If you do not have anybody to play with, okay? I recommend this build to you because you'll be able to go in a wreck. It's matchmaking, regardless of what team, if they sell you or whatever, you'll be able to get every single rebound, be a monster in the paint, and do what you need to do to um, be a god out there, man. So check this build out. This build is gonna help you. We're going to go on to the next build, and here we go. All right, for the last build. Now this build is gonna be able, if you wanna play with a team member, a teammate, or let's say if you got the ISO 
point guard, let's say if you want to set screens, let's say if you want to draw the defender out of the paint and be able to shoot threes on them, this build will be able to do that, okay? This build will be a menace on the floor because it's going to be able to move, it's going to be able to shoot, it's going to be able to handle the ball a little bit, it's going to be able to do a lot of things and bring more versatility on the floor than just having a center that can only attack the rim, okay? Now, like I said, this build is for if you got somebody to play with or let's say if you want to even run with me. This can, this build, I will run with this build with you with this build because this build brings so much versatility on the floor and I'm an ISO type of player. And this build can be a spot up, it can defend, it can do everything, all right? So we're gonna go into this build. We're gonna go with center. We're gonna go right-handed. You can go right or left, it doesn't matter. If you wanna go number 34, you can. It, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever number you wanna go with. And we're gonna go 6'9". We're going to go 233 pounds, okay? And we're going to go 7'7 wingspan. The reason why we're going 233 pounds, because you're going to be able, you want to be able to have enough speed at 72, a 70 acceleration, and you still want to be able to have some type of strength at 68. So you can get a 68 strength, get plus four to that with Gatorade, okay? Um, now, this build going to be able to block. It's going to be able to do a lot of things with this build, okay? Now, we're going to go define. Now, you can go any type of body um, style that you want, but I feel like when you go define or when you, I mean, I feel like when you go lower than define or you don't go built or built, it does, it, a lot of people get blow bodies by you. So, I would recommend going define because define is really 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 good not too bulky not looking like a bodybuilder out there and these are the stats we're going to go with okay we're going to go with a 67 um, close shot 66 driving layup 60 86 dunk a 80 standing dunk okay post control this build is not going to really be um doing anything with post post control you get a mid shot 82 three point you get a 77 free throw you get a 70 that's all you need is a 70 to be able to shoot a free throw okay you know shooting is very easy in this game don't need a 99 open three i have a jump shot video if you want to look at on my channel as well um and 82 mid range is really really good okay pass, pass and accuracy you get an 85 pass and accuracy so this build can pass the ball okay um also too you get a ball handle of 76 a 76 ball handle is pretty good in this game you get a ball speed of 65 so if you add boost onto that you're going to have a 70 um you're going to have a 70 ball speed you're going to have an 81 ball handling that's kind of crazy being a 6-9 center um and then interior defense you got 83 perimeter you're going to be 70 so you want to be able to come out to the perimeter and be able to guard some of these um these five seven bills if your um, point guard can't get through the pick or whatever because a lot of people set picks in this game you'll be able to come and defend the perimeter as well too okay now you get an 82 steal all right and steals are really crazy in this game and any build that has a steal is will bring um will bring so much um viability to your um to your team um as playing with them because you'll be able to defend the floor you'll be able to you know space the floor do every different things your point guard won't be the only one trying to steal the ball you can be there too and be able to steal the ball um you get a 70 block and remember that threshold i was telling you that's all you need is a 70 or 75 block um, to be able to get chase down blocks um, and to be able to snatch the ball while you're chased down on the ball, volleyball spikes, different things like that. You don't need a 99 in this game. 90 is cool, but if you can get a 70, 70 is really, really good. Um, offense rebound, you get an 88. You get a 90 defense rebound, and you get a speed of 72. 72 speed at center, okay? And you get a acceleration of 70. And I'm telling you, that 72 speed is like it's like the 85 speed and acceleration of two, any other 2Ks. This 2K right here, speed is a little faster in part. So I think it gives you like a plus 10 to your speed at part or maybe a plus 5, okay? 
Um, your strength, you have a 68. Your vertical, you have an 85 vertical, okay? And you will have a 98 stamina. I recommend to have your stamina all the way because the lower you get, the harder it's gonna be able to shoot with your stamina being low, okay? Now, you can rearrange these badges. I mean, these things are how you want them, okay? The, uh, the badge points you get, you get 19 um, finishing, 23 shooting, 21 playmaking, and 27 defense points, all right? So this is really good. We're gonna go into this, all right? And this is your spot up precision and limitless range, all right? I would recommend these takeovers. Now you can go with other ones. You get the angle breakers, shop um, precision pull up, but you know, I would recommend these because if you got limitless range on, limitless range is amazing in this game. If you notice a chef badge and limitless um, spot up, you know, it's, it, you know it, it comes on when it wanna comes on. I'm not gonna say it doesn't work because I see some people use it, but with limitless range, if you shoot out there, you're going to hit it because limitless range Range, um, takeover is really really good this year all right and also too um, if you get the third takeover I recommend for you to put acceleration takeover on because acceleration takeover on gives you a takeover faster I know other people like put um, the one that um, takes a little bit of while to get to I mean it takes a little bit of while for your takeover to run out but I say the lemon lace the the acceleration takeover is really really good so it really helped you with your build all right and when we create this build, we create a two-way facilitator, okay? And this build would be able to defend and be able to do everything that you want it to do, okay? I'm going to go into breakdown of how I would set my badges and what's the best badges that I recommend. And we're gonna go into that right now, okay? All right, so you see, <laughs> I get to apply an extra badge point because um, I hit level 40 on current and next gen. Um, and when you hit level 39 in this game, you get an extra bash point. So I didn't add the extra bash point because I want you to see the bash points of what you're going to get. So the best badges that I recommend in this game um, is, I would say, um, Limitless Takeoff on Gold, Posterizer on Silver, um, Definitely unstripper, Unstrippable on Silver, um, Silvery Finisher on Gold. I would recommend Fast Twitch too as well. And I recommend that on silver because I really didn't see a difference with it on gold. And I would say I would recommend mouse in the house on um, bronze. And I recommend grace under pressure on bronze. I'm telling you these badges right here work. I have them with my KD build as well. And we go crazy, we go crazy. All right, so these are the badges I recommend, okay? If you don't wanna put these on, you wanna put put back on, put back boss is good, okay? If you like lobs, lobs is okay. Um, but these badges really take off, all right? Or you can put this badge on silver, okay? And let's say if you want mouse in the house higher, you can go with that. Now, let us take off gold is good. Hall of Fame, I really don't see a difference with, but gold is really good, okay? Now, for the shooting badges, I recommend for you being a center, okay? I would say I would have I would have spot up, spot limitless spot up. Now it works when it wanna works, um, but you know, I recommend it. Um, also too, I recommend set shooter on gold. I recommend um, green machine. I recommend catch and shoot. I recommend volume shooter, of course. Volume shooter is gonna help you be able to shoot so shots. And I recommend sniper, okay? Um, and then I would recommend you to have, let's say this, let's put this to bronze, okay? And let's put um, hot zones on um, silver. These are the badges I recommend you to be in a spot up shooter. These badges being a spot up shooter is good shooting badges being a spot up shooter. Now let's say if you are a competition player type of build and you really don't need sniper on um, gold, you can recommend it on silver. Silver is really good. Volume shooter is good too. And that gives you more bash points to put different things at different areas, okay? So you probably can put on, you know, spot up on 
on um, silver and then you can probably put on um, lucky seven lucky seven is really really good anything you shoot before seven seconds gets a bonus and it's really really good i really love it um and i use this for myself and my guards but center i'm i'm you know kind of on the a defensive end that you should use it as a center because most of the time your guard is going to be putting up a stripper shot all right now you got playmaking bats so this was this was going to be fun all right and um i would recommend quick first step on silver okay tight handles on silver unbuckable on silver okay and then i would recommend um um let me see let me see if you get um i would recommend pull the path from silver or gold but we're going to pull it gold um and then i would recommend um let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Dimer, Dimer is really good too. Um, but most of the time, you're probably not going to be passing the ball to your center to hit a shot. He's probably going to be able to get a shot. So I recommend downhill, because downhill is going to help you be faster. And then I recommend um, um, candles for days on silver too as well. Now let's say like um, he's wanting to split up your badges a little bit more, and you want to put bell out on, you can put bell out on the bronze, and you can be able to um, put, um, you know, Joy General on bronze, or you can put Dimer on bronze, okay? And I recommend them for playmaking badges for a center, okay? So a center, all right? Because this definitely will help you be able to help and slit your guard on the floor as well, all right? Now, this is fun, defensive badges, okay? I recommend um, quick wall of center because every single time you uh, bump against a person, you turn the energy from them. Um, I would recommend um, the Timothy of Silver, the Pig Dot of Silver, uh, the Post Lockdown of Silver, the Tyler's Defender. I would recommend that on Silver, okay? Um, and if you're wondering why I'm going to open all Silver badges, look at my badge defense um, video um, that talking about your threshold of the badges. You really don't need badges on Hall of Fame or anything, alright? Um, rebound check on Silver, okay? Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, I'm going to say, um, ball hands on silver, chase, chase down to silver, okay? Um, then I would recommend, uh, for protect on the lines, and then I would say, I would, say, I would probably do this. I'd probably put a hustle on the lines, and probably do this, okay? Because, you know, and then, and then, and then let's say, you know what I'm saying, I'd say you want to move on a cost deal, and you, you know, you can do this too, but you put clamps on the lines, and then you can put, um, clamps on the lines, and you can put a minutes badge on them, and then you come out to the room, and you can be able to stop it. But, you know, you know, I would recommend, I would recommend maybe ice pocket or something like that, or, or um, uh, draw stripper is really good too. Um, um, right side, right side, I'd say it right from, because it really, and it can break, it break, it break some rules, and I really want to play this game, this game. You can probably put on the TV, so you can help me bond God out. Or, you know, you probably put on a uh, box out, a box out. Box out. Hey, hey, all, 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 all the balls test is you play with me too. I think my eyes got like this as bad. You can put on that too. You can put on the money you can. I figure that, you know, a lot of people know how to box out already. So you know, they don't give me money blind, but if you want to get blind, you can't. You can't play a voice dance then. You can't. You can't soak this on the line. So learn, 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 self, and be able to go like that. And, and, and you can see that's the best, but I'm not going to do it. Just rattle around with silk, silk, and bronze. We're going to be shared to share, but we're going to be able to make it. I'm going to lock it over the whole way. I'm going to be over it. I'm going to be showing how to break down the tags. I'm going to be able to go like I. I'm going to be able to go like I. I'm going to be able to go like I. I'm going to be able to go like I. And I don't have any bad times. I'm doing this for a different bounce back. Okay. Hey, I hope hey, I hope hopefully, y'all enjoyed your video. Hope this video is an answer to everything that y'all was looking for. If you have any knowledge, you can watch it and scream. Leave a comment. comment. Leave a like and let me know. And I will be answering some questions. questions. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Y'all. It is like a like and share. Share that we never know if this can help. Man, it should be a joy and journey. And I'll, I'll, that's how it goes.